was funny. I took my daughter to dinner, me and her father um, took her to dinner. She turned uh, 22 on the weekend. And that just side note, it was so interesting for me that so many people were shocked that despite the fact of us not being together for 21 years, we separated when my daughter was like one. And having a bit of a tumultuous few years after the separation, that we can come together and have dinner with her. Like we've been doing this for several years now, just me and him and her, that's all she wants is her parents sitting down with her at dinner and then she has a separate dinner with her friends. But that's what she's wanted for the last few years and we've come together. And it, it is funny to me how shocking it is for people. Like I said it to my boss, who's not black, he's white. And he said, my parents can't even be in the same country, much less the same room, breathing the same air at the same table. My daughter's friends were shocked who had parents who were not together. What, your parents come together and have dinner, just the three of you? Like, what the heck? Um, a lot of us have unhealthy relationships with people. There is no way, there is no way I'm going to lay with a man and produce this baby. And at this big, big age that she's at and the big, big age that we're at, hold that type of animosity for him that I cannot be in the same room for him for the purpose of our daughter. That. No. 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 Ladies, we got to heal ourselves. Well, I would have had a baby with him. And now she's 22 and I still hold animosity. Like the most important part of that equation is our baby. I don't care how old she is. She's forever going to be our baby. She's the only child I have. <laughs> like that really made me have to stop and think like, there's a bunch of us just running around unhealed. The sight of my daughter's father doesn't bring me anger and angst. It brings me joy because she brings me joy. And we had this amazing, wonderful child together who's made both of us so proud. And we get to fist bump and we get to high five, like, good job, mom and dad. We did this. We created this amazing human being. So ladies, if a lot of us hear what I just said and go, absolutely not. I could not ever sit and be with my child's father or fathers, for some of you. I could never, ever do that. Do you understand what you're bringing to another man? If the man that you gave the highest honor to, you can't even breathe the same air as him for the purpose of the child or children you share together, and you're going to bring that type of unhealthy mindset to another man that you expect to basically rescue you? I need you guys to sit in that for a second. 